Good morning, Yasharella. I'm just tilted on the edge of my seat at all these different things that are going on in the world. Different policies, different contracts. But this is the most important thing that we must do. We must hold on what our God Yahweh has given us. We must hold on and understand that our Yahweh Shai will come back. He will defeat the enemies. Our goal right now should be to put away all the differences. We should be on one accord right now. Zephaniah chapter 2, by looking in the scripture, by meditating it, we should have been together on one accord as the word of God shows that we were supposed to unite, come together before the decree went forth. The decree... I'm talking about the decree of the president actually training military to combat against the blacks who we know are the children of Israel. Yasharela. We know who we are. We are the ones who have to get this thing together. We are the ones that have to move according to the word of God. I see brothers on the street and we are in it's division. And you say that you're uh H O I, you say that you're A O I, you say that you I U I C, you say that you're uh H O D C, you say that you're I S U P K, you are shield of wisdom. And all the rest of these uh, camps out there, you're standing like the different denominations. Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal. My brothers, in the wilderness, there will only be one camp. One camp. And that's the camp of God. Ain't no IUIC. Ain't no HOI. Ain't no HODC. Ain't none of that anymore everybody in their tribes everybody under the Shekinah glory of God too many chiefs everybody wants to be the leader when God has already ordained chosen a leader and is showing his power to that leader how long shall you be disobedient because all of you have seen the post you know who God working through and you're in vain calling on God for salvation how can you Fix your mouths to call upon God for salvation when God continually to show you who he's using. Do you believe what Isaiah gives in Isaiah 60? Showing that the spirit of the Lord should come upon a person. I'm talking about in the time of darkness. In a time when there's corrupt doctrine. When the world is shifting in chaos, God's spirit will be upon one person. And in that chapter, we, we get to verse 8 and 9, it shows that an exodus, the second exodus, will happen by airplanes, by ships. But 
God always has a person in the earth. Oh, he always has an Adam in the earth. He always has a Noah in the earth to do his will. Yahweh tells you plainly in Luke 13, 35. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, the ambassador of Yahweh Shai. Talking about Jesus. Talking about Jesus. Yehoshua. Jesus. Kuka King. Kwesikoto. Different names that people actually use. And God hear you. Because he know your tongue. He know your language. My brothers. Hosea. Chapter 1, verse 11. It declares that Judah, then shall Judah and his companions in Israel be gathered together, and they should choose one head. Then it gives then, then, it's then, shall they come up out of the land. And great should be the day of Jezreel. Do you understand? Do you believe what the prophets say? Isaiah said, who had believed our report? I'm talking about that which is written in the word of God. Who had believed our report? They gave inf information. Information. For us to actually abide in. To go by. To live by. To move in. You know it is impossible to please God without faith. If you have faith. If you believed in the prayer that you're praying, that should be your ultimate goal. Hosea chapter 1 verse 11. But this is the thing. You have to actually anoint the person that God showed that he's using. Other than that... God is not going to react. This is the whole purpose of blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. God said you got to receive that person. Blessed in Greek means to prosper that person. It means to uh, invoke a good benediction upon that person by prayer. It means to actually speak well of that individual who God has chosen. Now you can, you can go to your the uh the new strong exhaustive concordance of the Bible and and check the uh actually define it your own self. You can google it. The word blessed in Greek in Luke 13:35. You have to actually acknowledge. You you have you you have to actually show your actions concerning the man of God that God has chosen. Other than that, you are in disobedience. You are in rebellion to what God has told you to do. This is how this thing this how this is how it operates. It must go by the word of God. If you refuse the anointing of God, then what's going to happen is a lot of you are going to continue to all die. Uh, you're going to continue to be in the same positions that you're in because you're not doing what God told you to do. 
you wear these garments, you, you own the corners uh, in, in, in different places of the world, but you're still being disobedient. You, you're acting as though you're God. You're saying, Lord, I, I see what he's doing. But they ain't the person that I want to be my leader. That's not how it goes. God anointed David over his brothers. Samuel thought it was one of the brothers. But God said, that he judge it not the way that man judge it. See, God don't judge the outer part of a person. To you, you're looking at garments. You're looking at uh, paperwork. You're looking at, that's my boy. You're looking at, I've been with him for a long time. He's been my teacher. Well, you know what? I see a lot of errors, and I correct a lot of errors on Facebook, on YouTube. See, Isaiah makes it plain in Isaiah chapter 29, I believe verse 24, that you should be in errors. Romans chapter 11 shows that a deliverer should come out of Zion. He is the one that will turn Jacob from ungodliness he is the one that God actually uses to teach the children of Israel see this is what God gives he anoints the person and that person shows that he has the ability to correct all of y'all sitting on Moshai doctrine the foundation of Marsha is a lie. Just like I see the camps as when Alexander the Great died. It broke into four kingdoms. When Marsha died, then these different camps came about. Because a lot of you were under Marsha, who y'all actually called King David through the brother, the apostle, so-called apostle of GMS. It's a, it is a, a, a foundation of a lie. So therefore you have lies in your camps. You have errors in your camp. It cannot be true because the person who actually taught you lied. Because he was not King David. And the person that spoke it is a lie. Because he's not King David. And he died not actually leading the children of Israel out of North America. So it's a lying foundation. Not as a, a, a person lying on the ground but being falsehood. So that's why you're in, that's why you're in errors. That's why I could come and correct you and teach you and show you that you are wrong. From GOCC to uh Zabak to uh Priest Maharaka. I've chatted with many and still found errors. But I don't think myself to be greater than any man. It's just that God has chosen me and elected me and is proving you, proving to you that I can correct you. Shalom, brothers of Yasharellas and sisters. Understand that you must choose who God has chosen. Isaiah 60 is not Yahawashai, God's son, but it is me in these end times to lead the exodus from North America.